Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aries. I'm going to do past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. Just totally said that wrong. <laughs> um, just know this is a general reading. So um, if it doesn't make sense for you, it's fine. The message was meant for somebody else. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest for, you know, whatever. Okay? So past. Knight of Wands, feeling wounded within a marriage, um, in a toxic situation. Okay, so in the past you have the Devil, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So something that you were really passionate about, someone that you love, some job that you love, something that you love, you felt trapped in. Like, you were really happy at first, it was like a new door opened for you, but then it led you to like... Being hurt, always feeling left disappointed, um, not being able to be yourself, um, you know, feeling like you have to walk around on eggshells around certain people with the Nine of Wands, always feeling like you are the one that always has to go through everything. So Nine of Wands isn't somebody who's just like went through something once. It's like a wounded warrior. So it's like you've been through battles like more than one, you know what I mean? But you keep on getting back up. You never stay back down. Um, the situation that you were in recently, in the past, is very toxic for you. You felt chained. You felt stuck. You felt like you didn't know how to get out or get away. You didn't know how to start something over. You also thought it was never going to end. You just thought this was how it's going to be. So maybe you were just kind of like stuck in that. Okay. And you kind of like maybe accepted it. Um, maybe not accepted it, but you know what I mean? Like, it was what you had. So I guess you felt like you had to go through that. Get off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, for your current, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. I feel like you're ignoring this person. You don't want to accept any more of their offers. You don't want to pay attention to them. You don't want to talk to them. You just, like, this could be a job. This could be family. This could be relatives. It could be love. It could be friends. Whatever situation, it's like you're done for it. You're beat for it. You don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? It's like they're trying to give you their cup. They're offering something, and you're just ignoring them. Like, been there, done that. Don't want to do that anymore. And the reason why is because you went into hermit mode. This is a time where you have to stay away from everybody. This is current, too. So this is, like, right now happening. Like, you're in healing mode, okay? So you're, like, concentrating on trying to do the things that you need to do for you in order to make yourself feel better because you're not happy. You know what I mean? And it's, like, you know you have to dig deep down because, you know, basically we are the ones that lead ourselves to happiness. We are the ones that can make us happy. Not anybody else. It starts within us first. And I think you're starting to notice this. You know what I mean? So this is why you're ignoring this person because you know if you give this person another chance, it's going to go right back down the road and this person isn't going to change. Or the situation isn't going to change. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be toxic behaviors that made you go downhill, like alcohol, drinking, you know, um, something like that. Or just bad habits, like patterns, um, negativity and stuff. It, or just dealing with a bad person, like in a relationship, who like somebody who like to use you, abuse you, maybe mentally, physically, emotionally. It's like they never, never like could let you live anything down, is what I just heard. Alright, so you had to do this healing. All right, so right now you're focused on you. You're for, maybe you also that somebody that shines light for other people. So you may be a healer. You may also help other people get out of their toxic situations because you've been there. I always say that whenever I see the healer because he's like a teacher. And the reason why he's a teacher is because he's been through it all. So he would be the best person to go to, you know what I mean, because he's done been through it all. Um, your current energy also is the Wheel of Fortune. It's the ending of a um, cycle and the beginning of a whole new, better one because you've done learning lessons before. You're not trying to repeat the same old mistakes. So it's like, and it's faded. The universe had this plan for you. For the future, you have the Two of Swords needing to make a decision, but you're kind of like not really wanting to because it's really emotional. You have the blindfolds on. Maybe you know something's going on, but you don't really, um, this is in the future. Um, I feel like. You know, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know why I said maybe you know something's going on. I don't know why I said that. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you got the Two of Swords in the future. You're going to have to make emotional decision. Something that you haven't been wanting to do for a long time. Whether it's leaving this behind, because I don't feel like you left. You could still be there and still ignore the person, okay? Or you could have left, and like maybe they come back, and maybe you're going to have to make a decision. But uh, whatever you're doing right now is like making progress. Like the fruits are starting to, or, or your plants are starting to grow, let me say. The plants that you, uh, or the seeds that you planted are starting to grow. Um, yeah. You, uh, seven of Swords. Maybe that's why I said maybe you think you know something. Maybe you're dealing with a sneaky person. This person may be a little liar, a stealer. 
or a thief, let me say, <laughs> a cheater. Um, this can also just be, if this is about them, um, somebody's being sneaky. Also, this card for the future, I think this is going to come out, this is going to help you make your decision with the Two of Swords. It's like you're going to take those blindfolds off, you know what I mean? Because the Magician and the Seven of Swords together is a master manipulator, somebody who likes to lie, somebody who's really good at lying too, so you probably won't even know the person's lying. Maybe you have a feeling, but you probably just don't know because you're just so damn good. The Devil, the Nine of Wands, the freaking Magician, and the Seven of Swords. This person is a narcissist. A manipulator, cheater, I don't know if they're a cheater, but they could be, you know what I mean, they're sneaky, um, I feel like they tell a lot, a lot of little uh, white lies, okay, and like those lies, they may feel like they're nothing, but they are when they add up a zillion times, seven of swords, this can also say for the future, this is you, you want to leave so you can do the work that you got to do, this isn't always a bad card too, okay, so I'm going to put this also as you and this person, because I feel like it's both, you need to go and do the work for you, the seven of swords is needing to leave the people, places, and things that are around you, because they are hindering your progress with the seven of pentacles to be able to do what you want to do for you, whether it's like leave and start a new life, um, you know, work on yourself for your healing, you know, because you need further healing with the hermit card, you know what I mean, because this is current, so I'm pretty sure it's going to go a little bit more into the future, and it's like, you need to leave in order to do what you got to do, but then you don't want to hurt the people's feelings, because you still care, you know what I mean, you have feelings, you have a heart, you know what I mean, um, so you don't want to hurt people's feelings by saying, hey, I got to go, because, you know, it's not working, the magician, you have all the school skills, all the schools, too, I guess, you have all the skills that you need to get to uh, where you need to be. Maybe you're using your magic. Maybe you're using your, um, I don't know, things. I feel like the magician, I don't know why, but I feel like you're going to be able to pull yourself out of the situation like they pulled the rabbit out of the hat, right? I feel like you're going to be able to, like, you think it's not going to be able to end, but I feel like magically it's definitely going to just wind up popping up for you, okay? Imagine when I said that it's um this is a manifesting card so I feel like when I said that this is saying that you are manifesting leaving all right building blocks um uh, building a strong foundation for your future so you're slowly taking your time doing things that you got to do putting everything in order so that way when you do leave you know the road is smooth and it's paved out and you know all the bumps are clear so that's fun then you have yin. Go the distance. Okay, so the cheat is right here next to the flag, right? It's like you're almost there. You're almost reached the finish line. So it's like don't give up. Like keep on pushing forward. Whatever you're doing is making progress with the seven of pentacles. A leg up. This may say that you may need some, to ask some people for help. Or maybe other people are going to be kind of helping you up or lifting you up. Um, then you have chaos and conflict. So I do feel like, you know, things are challenging right now. And things are hard to get through. Um... But it's like, and chaos and conflict. Let me, I just noticed this. Like I said, this person's sneaky lying, right? This zebra is wearing dress skin and it's like shedding. I feel like something is going to come out, like I said. Something's going to pop up that you don't know about. And it's going to be able to help you make your decision a lot better. And um, you're finally going to be able to open your eyes. The yin, I don't know why I never Google this, but I do not know what it means. So, sorry. You could Google that. Yin and yang, you know what I mean? It's yin. All right? So I feel like it's just saying that, you know, you need to find the other half of you. I don't know. That's what I say. Um, I'm so going to Google that today. Oh, my God. Then you got the moon. Secrets, secrets, secrets coming out. Also coming out into your intuition. Learning your intuition. Hermit also spiritual teacher okay so i feel like you're learning a little bit more about your intuition coming out to your spiritual abilities whatever you're doing like i said is making progress congratulations success all your hard work is paying off whether this is going to help you start a new business leave this person leave the situation move to another place you know what i mean whatever that you're working on something is going to come out though. there is some type of secrets all right and then you have hope all right and i'm going to read this to you
when the moon is hidden in the darkest forest, and this is talking about a moon too, there's definitely some secrets, okay? So watch people's actions, okay? When the moon is hidden in the darkest forest, it's hard to see your next step, and it is easy to give in to fear that there will never be safety or light again. I am here to guide you when you have lost your way, whispering you to maintain faith that good things will come your way once more. Take one step toward your dream. I will take two steps towards you to help you achieve it. Have hope. Only good will come out of it. I just got goosebumps. So if you lost hope and you're like, oh my God, it's just going to be like this forever. It's like, no, it's not. You know what I mean? They want you to take this first step and they're going to help you along the way. You know what I mean? It's like you're already in the middle of doing something. You're already in the middle of leaving this situation. Whatever this is that you, it's draining. Whatever this is that's bothering you and holding you back, it's like you're ready to leave this, and you will. And when you do, the universe is going to help you, okay? So just keep the faith, keep the faith, <laughs> keep the hope, all right, and never give up. Because go the distance also tells me, like, you're right there, right there, right there, okay? So don't give up, all right? Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.